we finally get a proper look at a smartphone display with a hole punch in it. This is Baga Now, and I'm Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? And here's a first look, a bit of a hands-on with the Honor View 20. We were lucky to get a review unit at CES 2019 after Honor made a presentation for us that will probably mimic a little bit of their big launch out in Paris in a couple of weeks. Our full review will be coming sometime after that, so you can stay tuned for our final opinions and all of the analysis on this particular device, which does, of course, as I said, come with a hole punch in the display. One of the worries that I had with this screen, uh, aside from the fact that it does have a bit of a cut inside of it, is that the hole punch was going to be too close to the back button in many Android applications applications. Thankfully, that's not the case here. It's actually squarely inside of the notification area so that when you swipe down or rather you have a black bar at the top, it's something that you might not even see. One thing to note here is that the hole punch is only 4.5 millimeters. And according to Honor, it is the smallest one, definitely smaller than many of its competitors. The screen itself is 6.4 inches in size because there's nothing to really occlude the screen and there's very little bezel all around. It is a full HD plus display at 2310 by 1080 resolution. They call it the all view display and it does look pretty nice so far. We haven't really gotten any media on the device, but we're going to do so with plenty of different pieces of content from places like YouTube and Netflix ahead of our full review. The design of the View 10 is also really eye-catching. On the back here, we have this V design, looks a little bit like a reverse level of chevrons, and it shines really well under the light, showing you a bunch of different down arrows uh, that go all the way down the device back. The look of the device is really great, but the feel is even better. You might be surprised to see this much screen in a phone that's easy to handle in one hand, at least in our initial testing. Of course, another main thing we're going to test further is the camera array, and things are a little bit different this time around. On the back, there is a third camera, and that third camera is a 3D camera, one that allows for the 3D lens to instantly identify and precisely separate people from backgrounds, aka better portrait modes. The main sensor really is the story here because the View 20 comes with what they call the world's first 48 megapixel rear camera. And with all of those megapixels, you could get a lot of quality, a lot of detail in all of the photos. You might notice that the app, the camera app inside of the Honor View 20 looks a little bit familiar. And so with that, we have some familiar modes. The main one being a night mode. Imagine a 48 megapixel sensor working for six seconds with all of the stabilization built in so that you can get a really great night shot. And all of this is being powered by the Kirin 980 with its dual NPU, again, being used for AI in the camera. And there are different SKUs for this that allow for eight gigabytes of RAM, six gigabytes of RAM, and then 256 gigabytes of storage or 128 gigabytes respectively. Honor is really trying to put itself at the forefront of all of the trends that will be coming in 2019. And hopefully Honor is going to make the View 20 also quite affordable, but all of that information is going to come after their big launch event out in Paris. Some design cues are really making the View 20 an attractive device, not only with that hole punch, which you can let us know what you think of it in the comments down below, but also because of that great backing with a wonderful design that really makes it stand out. Stay tuned for the full review of the Honor View 20 coming in a little bit, uh, but for now, enjoy this video from CES 2019, which is where we also got a lot of content that you can see at this channel. Subscribe to Pocket Now and keep it tuned here for even more from the Consumer Electronics Show of 2019. See you in our next video.